So I wanted to make this video today because there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to uh, what sort of physique you should be aiming at uh, or able to achieve uh, naturally versus using performance enhancing drugs and kind of what sort of scale you should be comparing yourself to. <laughs> video as a calling out this person or that person because that's not what I'm here to do but it does annoy me when I get questions from you know 17 year olds 18 year olds saying I want to look like this fitness model that athlete you know how can I how can I do that I'm thinking of taking steroids do I need to take steroids um, and I, I find it upsetting um, I think it's a it's a a function of our society right now that um, it's kind of a taboo subject that isn't often spoken about but they are used in pretty much the top levels of pretty much all professional sport it's a problem and um, obviously with, with bodybuilding it, it is more pronounced on on the physique and so you get these kids who really shouldn't they're not even at the level where they should even be thinking about using any sort of performance enhancing drug or steroid and they're taking it and taking way too much and they're getting all these health problems and they're screwing themselves up for later in life. So here we are. I'll start out by saying I am natural. I have never used steroids or any other performance enhancing drug and I never will or any banned substance period. Um, and that's just me. That's a personal choice. Other people make other personal choices. That's not what we're here to talk about. Um, what we're here to talk about is something called fat free mass index. And uh, it's basically, you've, heard, you've probably heard of BMI, um, body mass index, which by and large is bullshit. Um, but it's, it's kind of a way of uh, putting your body composition on some sort of scale with the population. So you can kind of see where you're at. What fat free mass index does is take into account your muscle mass, if you like. Um, so it's calculated as an equation with your weight, your height, your body fat percentage. And out of that comes your lean weight, i.e. like what you'd be if you were absolutely like completely shredded, uh, you know, on like a bodybuilding stage, and your FFMI and your adjusted FFMI. And the adjusted FFMI is the number that we're interested in. So there are different percentiles and different averages for uh, age groups. I'm gonna link some articles down below. Um, but by and large, what, what I'm here to talk about today is the upper limit of what is considered to be the uh, highest number FFMI you can reach with really good genetics and really hard training, really good nutrition, naturally, you know, the highest number, the highest FFMI the human body can achieve. So for men it's 25 and for women it's 22. And so what I encourage you to do is um, go and get your body fat tested. If you can estimate what it is just by getting one of those pictures and kind of looking and eyeballing it, have a, have a go and get like a ballpark figure. Um, but what I've done uh, is I'm going to put my results up here from the latest um, ultrasound scan I had. Had this done like uh, three days ago. Obviously you can see the BMI, I'm overweight according to that calculation. Cheers BMI. Um, but you can see so 6.5% six, so 6 uh, body fat. So you, you plug that into the calculator. And the weight that I weighed, um, this is in the morning. Um, so I've, I've just woken up. Um, peed and then weighed myself and I came in at 189 by the time I've drunk water and eaten food and stuff I go over 200 pounds like 90 kilos but this is my like baseline morning weight uh, it was 189 uh, I'm 5 foot 11 and you plug those in and my FFMI comes out at 24.8 which I'm really really pleased with like I said I'm natural but I've been training for eight years um, and that, I'd like, that's, that's fantastic for me. It, it, it makes me feel good to know that scientifically speaking, performing well, I'm performing at that, at that sort of level. So I'm gonna link this graph that uh, shows some athletes and kind of plots, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his Olympia days and the Hodge twins against that 25 benchmark. And um, I mean, obviously if someone was like genetically super, super gifted, maybe they could get to 25.5, 26. Someone's coming in, and again, I'm not gonna name any names myself, but imagine someone comes in with an FFMI like 28, 30, 32. There are these guys out there who claim, if they didn't claim to be natural, I wouldn't have a problem, but if they're 
kind of on social media and out on television or whatever hammering that oh, p people aren't as big as me because they don't work as hard as me you know or they're not dieting as hard as me and you know it's, it's just it's just because you're not focused enough it gives people the wrong idea and then people are pushed into taking performance enhancing drugs because they think shit this guy's natural and he looks like that i need this extra help and these young kids are doing it and it is it's a real problem i mean it's not a huge problem i'm not saying it's not like everyone in the bloody gym but it exists and i know because i get i get the comments and the the questions coming to me um you know are, are you using something do i need to use something blah 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 so have a look at yourself on this scale and use that as a benchmark to compete with you okay don't compete with this guy on this front cover or this guy on instagram or whatever just look at your stats how much muscle you're carrying your body fat and then work to, to beat it to improve those numbers and improve your composition. I'm not using this as a thing to say, oh, look at me, I'm naturally not going to get much bigger. I mean, you know, if, if you're under six foot, it's it's unlikely that you're going to be uh, bigger than 200 pounds really lean. That's just, a, that's just a fact. Be very conscious, take things with a pinch of salt. Because remember, if people are, you know, sponsored by companies that would, they, they you know, they lose their sponsorship if they came out and said, that they were using illegal substances. Um, you got to think about you, you know what's their agenda, if you like. But, and again, it's it is what it is. I'm not here to talk about about the rights and wrongs of it. It's a personal choice. But don't compare yourself to anyone other than you. And particularly in the fitness industry, with the, like fitness celebrities kind of thing. Uh, be don't be sucked in by the idea that that dare creatine and that dare whey protein has made some guy like given a good dude an ffmi of like 33 or something um scientifically it's it's just not possible i mean even if they had like freaking myostatin deficiency some crazy genes that were like perfect for it they, they'd struggle to get to that sort of level so just be aware of it, be conscious of these numbers. And th this is the science. It's not a he said, she said kind of thing. It's just look at your stats, you know, and aim to aim to get up into the high. I mean, you can see the scale. Aim to get up into the high 20s if you're a guy. Aim to get up into the 20s if you're a woman and and be really, really happy with your progress. OK, don't beat up on yourself or feel down about yourself because you don't look like this guy or that guy. Um, I mean, aside from like photoshopping and all the other kind of stuff that goes on in mainstream media, um, FFMI is a real eye opener when it comes to who is getting a bit of extra help pharmacologically and who is not. It just comes down to be the best version of yourself. Set your benchmark, improve on you, don't compete with this person or that person. And I understand people say, oh, but on stage you are competing with this person or that person. Yeah, fair enough, but you can't control that. You can't control what they're doing, what their genetics are, how they're training, what they're putting into their body. All you can control is what you're doing. So just try and optimize that. I hope this was a useful video and you learned something. Check out the description box. I'll put links to various things if you want to read around this. Have a great day and subscribe to me on YouTube if you please.